Greetings. Welcome back to the Tractor Den. Today's episode, we're going to install the BX6316 mechanical thumb on the BT603 Swift Connect backhoe. First thing I'm going to do take a brush, take the top link pin, put a light coat on this pin. Slide that guy right in there. Next, I'm going to take the top adjustable receiver, slide it in parallel with the boom. Slide that pin in and get it aligned. Take a paper towel, wipe off the excess grease. Now make sure you align this hole on the other side. Take a hex bolt and the nut. You want to leave about three millimeters, which is about an eighth of an inch of a gap between the nut and the actual housing. You don't want this to be completely tight. See how that's still loose? Got about an eighth of an inch clear. Now take the adjustable set pin, slide in that bottom hole, and your adjustable link, slide it all the way up in there to line up that last hole install your set pin for the time being. Now we need to remove this pin. Two 12 millimeter wrenches. Remove that bolt and hex nut. Set them aside. Next, I'll take a brass punch and a dead blow hammer. And knock this pin out from the other side. Go ahead and pull that pin out. Set it aside. Next, I'm going to take the thumb pin. Apply a thin layer of grease on it. Go ahead and hang it right there for the time being. Now I'm going to take the mechanical thumb with the tooth facing the teeth of the bucket. Slide that pin in. Sometimes it takes a little persuasion.
Next, take the thumb pin plate and the hex bolt. Install it finger tight. Flange bolt and a locking nut. Apply it on this side. And these get tightened to approximately eight foot pounds. This is a torque driver. We do the same thing on the opposite side. Now we need to torque the thumb pin plate bolt to 20 foot pounds. The thumb link pin, apply a little grease to it. Now go ahead and remove this set pin. Use a little persuasion if you have to. And wipe up the extra grease. Now we install the hex bolt and the nut. Don't forget to leave that 1 8 inch clearance. Now I'm going to take a rag and a little naphtha. Clean this loader arm. Give it a few seconds to flash off and then just a quick wipe. Now we install the sticker in its designated location. And don't forget, there's another one on the other side. Next, we're going to install the grease fitting. and apply grease. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and grease the rest of the grease fittings on the backhoe. Join me on the next episode when I put the BX6316 mechanical thumb in use. Thanks for joining. I'll see you soon.